Good day. I'm John Curran, President and CEO of the American Registry for Internet Numbers. And I want to take a brief minute to talk about how to protect your routes with RPKI. A um, little bit about Aaron. Aaron's the American Registry for Internet Numbers, and we're responsible for the administration of the IP address space in North America and uh, part of the Caribbean. And uh, as part of that responsibility, uh, Aaron thinks it's important that operators understand how to use uh, the technologies that have come out, RPKI, um, resource public key infrastructure, to improve their routing security. So I'll talk a little bit about Aaron, about how, how RPKI can help your routing security, and then which RPKI service is right for you. Um, Aaron, of course, as I noted, uh, established in 1997, one of five regional internet registries, and we uh, serve North America, Canada, the U.S., and uh, the English portion speaking of the uh, Caribbean. Uh, we, there's four other RIRs, LACNIC, which serves the other half of the Caribbean and Mexico and South America, ACRONIC, RIPE, which serves Europe, and APNIC, which serves the Asia Pacific Rim. Collectively, the five RIRs administer the entire uh, internet protocol address space, the IP version four and IP version six address space. So uh, we're a membership organization and our policies are set by the community and the community pays for our operation we're a not-for-profit and uh, they set the services that we offer so let me talk about rpki and Aaron. so rpki is public key infrastructure that creates a chain of resource certificates that uh, allows you to know exactly who's responsible for an IP address block or an autonomous system number. And RPKI is a way for the legitimate holder of an IP address block or an AS number to make a statement about that address block, one that can be cryptographically verified. So why is it important? Well, the fact is that it provides a level of trust we don't otherwise have. The ability to know certain information about address block, an address block that you couldn't get otherwise. You can use that information to make better judgments about how you do your routing. And by doing that, you can make judgments that allow you to limit the impact of a configuration mistake or a bad actor out there uh, trying to uh, somehow uh, change your routing inadvertently. So let's talk about what our, how RPI works. Legitimate resource holders obtain a resource certificate from Aaron. They make signed statements about that IP address block, that number resource. We end up taking that information and publishing it, and other parties can fetch it from us and verify it via cryptographic information. Network operators can take that information and use that to introduce bias into their routing to favor signed information. And that allows the overall RPKI system to improve security. So uh, how does this work? Uh, an address block holder makes a statement called a ROA, a route origin authorization object. They make a, uh, an object, which is a statement, which says my address prefix, my IP address block should be routed by this particular ASN, this autonomous system number. And these rowers get stored in databases. And Aaron has a database called a repository that we publish to the world. So you make a statement about what autonomous system number should route your address block. And then we take that statement. It's cryptographically signed and we publish it. Other parties will retrieve that statement confirm that the cryptographic chain is signed back to Aaron so they know it's authentic, and then we'll use that data to compare what they have in the routing table. Does it match that ASN? Is that ASN, is the routes that they're hearing and the networks they're hearing them from match what you intended to be the networks routing your address block? And then network operators can weight their routing accordingly to make uh, routing decisions based on that RPKI. So if a route is introduced that isn't one that matches what you intend, it will be depreffed. It will be uh, not preferred or dropped. So what's the value? The more people who publish rowers, the more information is available. The more information available, the better people's routing tables are affected for the global internet. Now, which service is right for you? Aaron has a number of RPKI services. Hosted is the one used by most people. It's uh, very simple to get up and running. 
Aaron does all the work of creating that information and publishing it. Uh, but there are other models. The other models include delegated, where you run your own uh, cryptographic certificate authority. You have to do the challenges of operating that, and you need to publish that information. The advantage, of course, being though it's all under your control. And then there's a hybrid model. This is a pretty recent change where you can run part of that infrastructure, but rely on Aaron's infrastructure to publish it to the global internet. So let's go through each of those. The hosted one, Aaron has a certificate authority and we run and operate it. We publish information in that certificate authority. Organizations use our system to create and maintain their route authorization. And we put that in the data collection, we put that in our repository, and we publish it out uh, for people to access via Aaron Online or the APIs to obtain that. So all you have to do is use Aaron service. In delegated, we take our certificate authority and we chain it to yours, your operator run certificate authority. And that operator run certificate authority is completely under your control. So you can manage it with the policies and the security that you want. You then have to publish the results of your certificate authority, and you need a way of distributing that to the global internet. So you have complete control, but you've got a lot of responsibility. And then hybrid, the operator runs their own certificate authority, but you then can use our infrastructure to distribute it so that uh, organizations around the globe can pick it up along with the other information we distribute. So you still have control of the um, the certificate authority and the cryptographic information, but you don't have to worry about publication because Aaron handles that. So that actually concludes our introduction to RPKI. And uh, I hope that this has given you an idea of the value of the service and the various models available. We hope you'll take advantage of them and help secure your global routing. Thank you.